Hi ladies and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing some painting some papers and it would it'd be a, a voiceover. Okay, that's one of my packets that way around, isn't it? Okay, you can see what they are. They are pages, okay, so that make it I've got to make twenty, but I'll make ten on video. I think well ten ish, I'm not sure entirely sure what. And some of them are already done anyway on some sides like this. So I'm using all of the original artworks. It's ever so easy to do and it's so therapeutic. And you just want to make more and more. If I made loads and loads and loads of these, uh, yeah, I would have a house full. So I'm using the original on purpose. I'm also doing some doodlings as well with brushes and pens. Yeah, so and this is another one I've done. Okay, I'll show you this one properly at the end. There we go. That's not one I did on video today. And this, um, there's some more. Okay, so I'd like to give a thumbs up today. That would be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got papers on new papers on Kofi, and and it's my it's my it's my third anniversary now. So with the, the beginning stuff, we'll start to say <laughs> I've been with you three years. <laughs> okay, so three years ago now, we'll be starting to say from today. Yeah, so simple stuff like that. That's as simple as anything, but. Then I start to add colour. Okay, that's very simple. Okay, so let's go and I'll show you what we're doing today. And I'll give you a quick and I'll give you a, a lovely voiceover. Thank you. And let's That should have said let's go. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't. Anyway, let's have a look. So oh I'm this is one I've started actually. This is one of um yeah, so all I've done is used the brush as so like an inch, or it might be a bit of an over an inch brush, and I've made those crosses. It's like a cross stitch effect. So one way, going one way, then I do do it later. To actually, if you want to know how to do that, that is so easy. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, and just all I'm doing here is taking off some paper, um, paper because it's got stuck to all the papers, and I don't want it to I want it to be not loose. So I'll leave it like that. Okay. Yeah, and so yeah, and so I've already done one side. So all I'm going to do is edge that up now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and also move the camera up a bit so you can actually see the bottom. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'm doing around the edge. So I didn't choose that purpley colour. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yes, it's it's um it's a lot of fun doing this. I'm not going to always have them perfectly that shape i'm going to actually tear some pages so it's torn page art i love doing torn page art i did a massive thing yesterday but i, I realized it's wrong if it had been in the journal i want to because i'm doing this, some things out of the journal but you want to be able to get into the pocket so <laughs> i'm going to rethink that but it, it does look really good okay yeah so I'm just drawing some, I've decided to draw that in the middle. I know it's sort of like making it a bit more, but it's edging up the papers so that the, the colour goes to the edge. Yeah, what's this? What am I doing here? Uh, oh, it's these beautiful stripes. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so pleased with a lot of these papers. It's a brush. Uh, the brush I'm using is a, it's not the knife this time, it's a cheap brushes I got from Amazon. Um... I couldn't find the other pack, but I found it uh, later, after I finished the video. Yeah. This is a flat, like one of those brushes like you paint with wool, but um, about an inch long instead of a big one. It's also, you won't be able to paint a wall with this anyway, lol. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm doing is adding some um, colour to the, some one side of the brush and the other. This is how I'm getting those stripes. Um, with different colours on each brush stroke. I've noticed I've put some, and because the brush isn't even, it picks up some of the colour unevenly, and also I've got the, the colour's got peaks and troughs in it, so if it's sticking up, it can pick up the colour in that way as well. Yeah, see, the one stroke can give you lots of different colours. I'm also mixing it on the page. I do not mix any colours, so I'm only using... I'm using like a cerulean blue, which is probably the equivalent to cyan, really, a lemon and a magenta. 
they're probably they're the three colours I'm using plus uh, white I do use a little bit I think I think I do don't use any black even though I think I've got black in there actually but I don't use, yeah I'm getting my pens out now because I could not see them I thought where are these colours I want <laughs> I want that sort of aqua green colour just to do the edges around here I didn't want to do it quite the colour it was Mind you, it wouldn't have mattered if I did would it really it's up to me yeah my journal yeah well it's my journal I'm making a journal because there's a lady I'm watching I'm going to tell you about her when I make the journal she I've, I've probably mentioned it before she made a most amazing journal thing is she's used a, a drawings from her grandchildren but I've got <laughs> I've got plenty of stuff I can use um I have quite a lot of it on Kofi, so you'd be able to um, use it as well. Yeah, well, in fact, if I haven't, you know, I'm going to do possibly like a, uh, and not necessarily um, as it is, but I can do I can do certain things like make the uh, I've got I've got whimsical owls, I've got whimsical fish, I've got loads of stuff. Um, that I can use and I've made them like children's drawings I can also read draw loads as well because they're so easy whimsical is like an easy peasy lemon squeezy type thing that um, <clears throat> oh by the way that was brown you say that brown there's no brown allowed it went brown because all the colours mixed and obviously the wet bits wet paper um, wet to paint yeah, so it, 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 all the stuff I'm doing, I'm going to do some more whimsical stuff. Oh, I don't know why that... Oh, that's weird. I don't know why that uh, that's going weird. Oh, it might be... It might not do for you. It's going just going weird for me. Right. Oh, dear. I hope it's recording okay. I might have to stop it and uh, start it off. Wait a minute. Yeah, so I exported it, you know, sort of like... And then I'm going to start off again because it was just jumping about. And I thought it's going to stop in a minute anyway. <laughs> so, right, there we go. Yeah, I like that. I perhaps I should have left some gaps for the um, paint, but never mind. And this is a new one now, so yeah. Uh, going around the edge again, yeah, just filling in those um, edges there. Some of these are gel pressed. That isn't actually. Some of that, some of them are though. I think that's just a scrape. Yeah, scraping with a knife. I do some more scraping with a knife at the end because I want to get it. Well, I want to spread the colour about a bit. Um, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I'm creating that lovely green. I know I've got it on a little bit to the left. I should have it. <coughs> do I can't. The only thing is I can't cut out the cough, coughs that I um, do. Right, so I'm then adding some. Oh yeah, I'm just adding some colour into the. Yeah, so you can. Do it, but I don't like it plain. I don't like plain green. I like it uh, textured. So again, that's um, yeah. So, so a lot of these pages I will be tearing and adding pockets to, and perhaps using some as journaling spots, particularly ones that's that's um, plain. Uh, I've got to make another. Actually, I've got. To, I said I've got to make another. Oh yeah, I'm doing circles there. That's so easy to do just with one of those acrylic pens. I've got to um, make some paper. You know, do, um, make some pockets and things. I think that's what I was saying. What was I talking about? I can't even remember. Oh yeah, using the bright pink for the edges. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I'm going to go on this side. Oh yeah. Oh, this is um another one that's plain. I and mean, on these, if you've got this plain like this, so with a little bit of colour on it, perhaps like that, you could use those as journaling spaces. You could use them either with a white gel pen, gel pen. I meant uh, well. Yeah, you could use gel pens, I suppose. But I meant uh, acrylic pens, really. Or even bar um, ballpoint pens. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm doing some crisscross. Oh yeah, what am I doing here? These are wavy lines now with the brush. I'm not sure which brush I'm using. I can't see. Is it the? Yeah, it looks like the fat one, doesn't it? Yeah, the biggest one. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm using thinner ones. And this one you can see I'm using the big one. Yeah, yeah. Some of these colours are amazing. Yeah, so I, I, I use a lot of purple, uh, green, and orange. <laughs> I know that for a fact. They are doing. I think it's at this corner. I'm adding some. I thought I saw this earlier. I haven't added. An, I, I done an extra thing again. Oh, does I, well if I have. I mean, it's not that long a video, is it? Just see it twice. Right, so yeah, that, oh I like that, I just showed you. I think that's one that was right at the beginning, one not it? Uh, yeah, brush in, so you can brush up and down, up and down, up and down until the colour comes. Oh, that's it, this one. Oh, I know which one this is, I love this. Yeah, what I'll do with this on the other side. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, this, watch, see what I do with the, no, is it this bit? Yeah. Do some lines down there. It's really nice, actually. Oh, you didn't see it for very long, but it is. It's really nice. You might have seen it at the beginning, or the. Uh, I'm sure a little bit more at the end as well. Perhaps you'll see it. Right, I decided to do across the page to make some journalings because you know what I mean. It's like I'm doing things down the page. This is across. I'm going to do a few more of those so I can perhaps use these and I've done it in those colours so if you use a say a black or blue ballpoint pen they would show up you can write on a definitely write on acrylics with that sort of thing I think anyway yeah I'm sure you could right yeah so that one's done yeah oh well so what's happening now oh I'm just finishing off there I think I've Oh, I'm just dotting about on this one, and then I'd, do, I know I'd do some lines in a minute. So yeah, so you can, you can just get what's off on your brush, oh, unload what's on your brush basically, and use some acrylic pens to do some lines, yeah. Not necessarily acrylic pens though, you can use what pens you like, but the they might stop working. The only thing is with these acrylic pens, they are designed to use on stone uh stones so they should be very quite hardy so if you get some acrylic pens make sure they're sort of like designed to use on stones yeah i think that's a pretty yeah i'm just trying the green out we're going to try it in the middle but i don't think it would look right and i've used a greenish yellowish thing i think that on there that's uh I want to do some yeah circles here they are circle things. Did I say have I have I done the one? No, that's the one, isn't it? Just scrubbing the brush onto the paper. Yeah, amazing stuff there, isn't it? Yeah. Just scrubbing the brush on the paper. I decided not to I was gonna fill the top in but decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I say I might tear some paper anyway. Oh, this I'm just counting how many I've got. I think I've got seven or eight there, so um, I've got to do a couple more now. Okay. Yeah, so there's about five minutes of uh, of the. There you go. That's, this is. Yeah, so I've got to cut this one, and I do like this one. I didn't. Feel, I'm, I'm going to fill in the other one when I get chance. Yeah. Such fun. Yeah. What am I doing now? I'm always doing this. Stop him. Yeah. Oh, actually, it didn't last. Oh, that's the. That's what I mean by the crosses. See again. Using it as a cross stitch. I'm just. All I'm doing is doing it one way, then then the other. With that brush, with that thick brush. Um, like a what do you call it? A flat brush. It's like a paint paint brush, but it's miniature. Yeah, and I've decided this is the top. Yeah, I'd say I just turned it round to remind myself this is the top that I'm doing there. So because in case I make, you know, although if you make a pocket there, you cover it up. Although you suppose you can make a tuck spot at the top, couldn't you? 
I might even rip off the page yet. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to do all sorts, you know, with this. It's going to be properly over the top, hopefully. I just hope it works out. <laughs> it's uh, I've got a big, massive ambition with this. So hopefully you will enjoy it. I'm going to do some on video as well. I've got that. I've got um, the journal. I'm going to give some journaling, journal making tips as well when I do it. I've done um, one for a voice, uh, the making it for a voiceover again. I bet my doing the voiceovers are quite good. But um, hopefully, yeah, this is what I'm doing is just adding some colour paper and then, oh yeah this is when I start to use the thing yeah you scrape it you notice know, how it scrapes off it looks great doesn't it yeah I love this this is a I've not used this little knife before yeah it's really good I'm really pleased with that again I should have done it across the page in case I use this as a journaling spot looks a bit like marbling paper from here I mean obviously if you got it on a big screen you can probably see it more clearly but my screen is like about one and a half by three or one and a something by three yeah i'm using a knife again i'm trying to get rid of all the paint out the little container i was using as well yeah. although i think there's still a bit of white in there and black i haven't used that <laughs> yeah i was going to edge things but i didn't there's a bit but not much right yeah I do a lot of vibrating across that. It makes an awful noise. In fact, it reminded me <laughs> of a dog in uh, having trouble. So I don't know if it's a very good noise. Yeah. So. Yeah. Especially if I got it on a, a on my board. I was doing it. I was actually um, sitting with the board on me originally. That's a glass mat, so it might not be, it might not be so such a horrible noise when it, it's on the board it sounds a bit odd it definitely sounds worse on the board <laughs> yeah i'm just got, yeah, getting a lot of yellow down here it's because i think I'd, i did got to get a lot of yellow out because obviously when you're using yellow um when you're using when you're making green and orange you use yellow yeah so I've got about half a minute now, and then I'll I'll, I'll I'll finish all this. Yeah, look at this. I love this. Again, it's amazing stuff, isn't it? Yeah, using those knives to me is groundbreaking stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and no, I didn't. Oh, I, I obviously have to add some more colour in it as well. Reminds me of crayons, actually, using crayons. Yeah. So five, four, three, two, one. Stop. right then so right this is the last uh, hopefully this is the last of the 10 i'm making 10 papers i've got to make another 10 um i did have them the other day but i've been cutting them up <laughs> this is still wet as well that's still wet okay so if you looked at all the i've decided that that is at the top in case i use the bottom as a pocket okay that's the sort of thing okay i've got this one i love doing that I love doing the scraping with the uh, knives, which is why I've done it on there and there, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Right then, so which one do you <laughs> I don't know, I think, oh dear, I folded them, haven't I? But, uh, well, if they do things like this, it, I don't care, because I might cover some up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just to get the colour down on the paper, and obviously I'm going to make a over-the-top style. Thing. that's nice isn't it so these might not stay like this these might get ripped ripped apart the pages so lots of page torn page art i'm just doing torn page art um hopefully well you've got to have 10 pages in the journal it's a, requ it's a requirement although i'm not gonna, i'm not going to break that rule <laughs> some rules I will break so that one turned out beautifully didn't it yeah it's quite surprised i thought this oh is this the one that was one of them's not quite a, um, yeah, full page. No, it isn't, isn't this one? Yeah, they're just folded wrong. There is one that's got it that isn't quite folded correctly. I hope I will find that one and I will um, 
change it. I have got more. I've got more done. Besides these, okay, I have got more done. Here's one I found immediately. As soon as I, oh, I've got the other brushes as well. The brushes I was looking for were underneath this. Yeah, so this is a one of those um, pockets where you can slot things in. So I've done that one already. I've got other ones that I've done. Right then, I hope you enjoyed. I'm making this on my third anniversary. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers and the ones that's been with me for a while. Especially ones that have been with me from the beginning. Um, and I'll be doing some making as well because I'm going to some do something with these, obviously. As you can probably guess what I'm going to do. I've already started the video with it on. But... Um, I just needed to make the papers and I've got to make another say eight papers now so we'll see what we're doing okay I'll see what we're doing with these you can f it's supposed to be spectacular but <laughs> I've been so inspired off I'll tell you who I've been inspired by in the other videos okay I don't think the lady makes journals now but wish you <laughs> they're amazing <laughs> Right then, okay, so I'm, I'm going to clean this in a minute, okay, and just do a quick intro before I do that, okay. Thanks very much for joining me today, please give me a thumbs up, that'd be absolutely amazing, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've put some new things up on Ko-fi, if you'd like to go and have a look, that would be absolutely amazing. Let me know what you think, I'd love to know what you think. I usually, I'm hopeful I re will reply to people who have commented on them, okay? Thank you so much, and see you again soon. Thank you.